If you're a Samsung owner, you've probably been waiting for the new features in Android 16 and One UI 8. Samsung has now officially announced which phones will receive this update, and I just installed it on my Galaxy S25 Ultra and S24 Ultra. I'm going to show you the exact step-by-step -step process I used. We'll also look at Samsung's official list of which phones will and will not get the update. I should also mention that I recently got the new Foldable 7, and I don't need to update it because it came with Android 16 and One UI 8 right out of the box. One UI 8 has some key updates you'll definitely be interested in. In this video, I'll explain how to download and install One UI 8, what the key differences are in the new version, how it compares to One UI 7. And by the way, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe to the Chanix Bro YouTube channel. It helps a lot, and you'll get more videos just like this. First, if you want to check which OS version you're currently using, it's simple. Just go into Settings, scroll down to About Phone, and then tap on Software Information. There, you'll see what Android version and One UI version is on your phone. For example, my Galaxy is currently running Android 15 with One UI 7, and that's what we'll be upgrading from today. All right, head back to your settings again, and this time, go into Software Update. Tap on Download and Install, and if the update is available for you, the One UI 8 screen will pop up, looking something like this. Before you proceed, make sure you're connected to a stable internet connection, preferably Wi-Fi. Also, Keep in mind that if you haven't updated your phone in a while, you might have to install an older update first before the One UI 8 update will appear. Here, you'll see all the details about the update. You can scroll through to see what's new, and once you're ready, go ahead and hit download. Just be patient, as the download time will vary based on your internet connection. Once the download finishes, an Install Now option will pop up. Just tap that, and the phone will start the installation process and then restart. You don't need to do anything else at this stage. The installation will also take some time to complete. After your phone reboots, it will be updated. As you can see here when your phone turns back on, you'll get a welcome message. It will have more information about the new Galaxy AI features and other details about the latest One UI update. You can read through it yourself, or I can explain the most important changes right now. Here's a look at One UI 7 next to the new One UI 8. What do you think? If you're thinking it doesn't look that different, you've got it exactly right. The update from One UI 7 to 8 isn't a major visual overhaul. Samsung usually aligns One UI versions with Android versions. For example, One UI 7 based on Android 15, One UI 8 based on Android 16, so the core jump is mostly about Android version upgrades rather than a full redesign. You'll typically see minor UI refinements, not a huge visual change, more AI-powered features and performance optimizations, new privacy and customization tools, improvements to Samsung stock apps like Gallery, Camera, Notes, etc. It's more of an iterative upgrade than a massive change like when Samsung switched from One UI 3 to 4 or One UI 5 to 6, which brought bigger visual and functional shifts. Also, remember that Samsung has published a table like this on their official page called Estimated Update Dates. You can pause the video here to see if your phone is on the list. I'll now show you a few of my favorite One UI 8 features. If you are only interested in the update process, you can find a summary at the end of the video. We've revamped the way you interact with your phone, starting with the lock screen and wallpapers. The new lock screen clock is smart, adjusting its shape to avoid covering people or pets in your photo. And you'll love the new interactive and dynamic wallpapers. To help you find the perfect background, wallpaper suggestions will intelligently recommend the best photos from your gallery. Staying informed is now easier with Now Brief, which gives you timely, contextual updates right from the Edge panel, a home screen widget, or notifications. Communication is smarter than ever, too, 
Call Captions provides real-time text of what the other person is saying during your calls, perfect for noisy environments or when you need absolute clarity, and it's simple to turn on in your call settings. For a better audio experience, the new audio eraser tool effectively removes wind and background noise from your recordings and playback, ensuring crystal clear sound. If you use Galaxy Buds, you'll appreciate the integrated Galaxy Buds controls, which let you manage all your settings directly in the main phone settings menu, bypassing the need for the separate Galaxy wearable app. Multitasking gets a major boost with the improved split-screen view, allowing you to drag an app to the edge to keep it partially visible, and then instantly swap app positions with a simple tap. The camera is faster to use with swipe to open quick controls, letting you quickly access settings by swiping up or down anywhere in the preview area. On the security front, the improved Secure folder now offers enhanced privacy options, including the ability to fully close all apps and block notifications upon locking. Finally, file sharing is more streamlined with a unified quick share experience, allowing you to both send and receive files from a single efficient screen. Together, these upgrades in One UI 8 represent a powerful step forward in personalizing and simplifying your everyday mobile use. In Samsung Notes, you can now use sticky notes to add quick, temporary annotations right to the top of any document without altering the original file. The Calculator app has received a simple but powerful update. You can now access the scientific calculator directly in portrait view, eliminating the need to rotate your phone for advanced calculations. The Clock app is more user-friendly with the ability to easily group existing alarms and place an alarm group widget on your home screen, letting you toggle all alarms on or off with a single tap, a convenience missing in the previous version. Furthermore, the Calendar and Reminders apps are now deeply integrated. You can manage reminders in your calendar, creating them right from the plus button and even dragging and dropping existing ones to reschedule. Adding new events is faster than ever as the system intelligently suggests event names and times based on your habits. Finally, the Weather app has received a major visual overhaul, now featuring richer, more realistic imagery that makes grasping current conditions quicker and more engaging than the basic visuals of the past. In summary, if you're expecting One UI 8 to look very different from One UI 7, you might be disappointed. Samsung hasn't made major design changes. Menus, icons, and overall layout remain familiar. This update is not about refreshing the interface. It's about making the core system stronger and smarter. The biggest upgrade comes from the move to Android 16. This brings smoother animations, better memory handling, and improved background performance. These aren't flashy features, but they make your device feel more reliable and efficient in daily use. AI plays a much bigger role in One UI 8. Features like Gemini Live, Circle to Search, and an enhanced now bar give proactive suggestions, smarter shortcuts, and context-aware help. These changes improve how you use your phone without altering how it looks. Security also gets a serious boost with Knox Matrix and Keep Encrypted Storage, protecting data across devices. Productivity tools like advanced split-screen ratios and a better DeX desktop experience make multitasking easier, especially on foldables and large-screen Galaxy models. In short, One UI 8 is about power and intelligence at the core, not about a new look, but about making your Galaxy device faster, safer, and more capable. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, smash that like button, share this with your fellow Samsung fans, and make sure you're subscribed for more content just like this. I want to hear from you down in the comments. 
What phone are you rocking? And have you gotten the One UI 8 update so far? If you have any questions or ran into any issues, drop them below and let's talk about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.